now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, another one of those days where we're going to see a little bit of everything, some clouds, some sunshine, a spotty shower during the day. Uh, we are keeping an eye on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, though. We've had some sprinkles and very light showers and spots as we go down to the radar here. We've seen a few sprinkles over Comstock Gardens, uh, right around Chapachet and Harmony this afternoon. And uh, keeping a closer eye, too, on, as we widen out the view, this batch of showers that's well out over the ocean. This is still several hours away I'm thinking after say five six o'clock this evening for the arrival time of some of these more widespread showers to reach our coastline and then spread inland so this afternoon kind of a partly to mostly cloudy afternoon temperatures around 62 in Cranston right now we're at 64 in North Kingstown 63 degrees in Woonsocket and it's definitely got a cooler feel to the air Tiverton today at about 63 degrees and only 61 in both Charlestown and Westerly uh, the culprit here for this continued risk of showers that we've uh, seen over the weekend and now here to start off the work week is this very slow moving area of low pressure that's sitting down across the mid-Atlantic states. As that slowly lifts up to the northeast over the next two days, we'll keep that threat of some showers around, but it's definitely not raining all the time. In fact, I think uh, tonight into the first part of tomorrow is our best chance of seeing some more of those showers. So the bus stop this afternoon, perhaps a spot shower. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Future cast at 3 o'clock still doesn't show a lot of action around, but notice as we get into the evening, it does spread some of that steadier rain, possibly even a thunderstorm into our area for the late evening and nighttime hours. And then on Tuesday, a slightly better chance than today of seeing some passing showers at times. And another cool day with times of clouds and perhaps a little bit of sunshine. The highs today coming in fairly seasonable, upper 60s for highs in North Providence, about 68 downtown, Central Falls at 67. We've got a south, southeasterly wind today. Cranston at 68, a few spots get up into the upper 60s to near 70, but I do think most highs today are going to be to the mid and upper 60s. And that's where I have us in Newport, Coventry at 67, times of clouds and sun, that rain moves in for the evening. Northern Rhode Island, just a passing light shower. 65 at Foster Center, 66 in Johnston, and the high temperature as you head into Taunton should be about 67 degrees, 67 in Seekonk, and about 66 in Middletown. The bay, well, visibility is 5 to 10 miles unless you get caught in one of those quick showers. Waves are still a bit choppy, up to 4 feet actually at the bay entrance. High tides, 1.30 this afternoon. We had a low tide just before 6 o'clock this morning. All right, heading home for the evening commute, we'll actually start to track some of these steadier showers and spots. So at times you'll have to have those windshield wipers on about 60 to 65. I think a better shot of wet weather overnight tonight, scattered showers, temperatures fall into the low to mid 50s overnight. Again, even the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm in there. So your seven day future cast for you uh, today, later today into tomorrow, still a bit unsettled, but then we really turn a corner. The second half of the work week looks cool and dry temperatures in the low Low to mid 60s at night, nighttime lows. Well, by Friday morning, there could be spots in the 30s and forecasting a low of about 40 degrees. But then a milder trend for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday should be in the 70s. And even looking ahead to Columbus Day, if it's a long weekend for you, it's looking very nice for Monday as well.